in the middle of town on a small curvy road in a house with a roof and a yard with a toad round a gate to the left and beyond a few stairs stands our hero barefoot taking in the fresh air who might you ask is this fearless young sprout let's ask her she'll tell us i don't have a doubt Glad that you're here. She is queen of all nature, a worthwhile career. Let me tell you my favorite of all of her tales. So strap in, buckle up, we're about to set sail. Why do you care about nature? Because it cares about us. Zana the Great is a story of a little girl who recognizes a problem in her community and then she does everything that she can to fix it by herself. But then she realizes that problems aren't solved by one person, no man is an island, and she rallies her community to create the change that needs to happen. It's also a story about friendship, it's a story about bravery, um, and it's also a story about loving and believing in yourself and your ability to change the world. So she goes through these different adventures with different friends of all different backgrounds. Um, she faces adversity. She faces people telling her that they don't think she can do it and she just doesn't give up and she figures out how to save the world. I think it's important that there's a kids book right now that talks about pollution and that talks about it in a way that doesn't make it seem like something that's far away and something that doesn't really matter but that it's something right here right now and it's something that they have the power to do something about. Zay, the queen of nature as she self-proclaimed um, reminds me of that. She reminded me of that. It wasn't the other way around and I think that these children now are looking at what their realities are going to be like in the future and asking us for help. I think another thing that makes this book very important and very needed right now is the fact that Zayna the Great is a young black girl and a black image and you know we're hearing so much lately how much representation matters and it truly does. You should use your dollars wisely and buy the book because my daughter's face is on it, and um, in her mission, and Susie's mission, and a lot of people's mission, are wrapped up in this book to just make the earth a better place for everyone, not just human beings, but all kind of living organisms that work in concert to make us, to allow us to be here. Fund this book, it needs to be in everybody's hands yesterday. Um, whenever you do something well, it takes time and it takes money, and we need your support so that we can fund the production of an extra 5,000 that is, you know, you believe in this book so much and you're able to donate that, do that. No amount is too small, no amount is too big. Every penny counts and every penny goes straight towards making our world a better place, empowering children, enlightening children, and loving our planet and the humans that are on it and all the life that is on it. So donate today and tell a friend. That was yeah. easy. That was awesome, Zay.